ما هي المياه الجوفية هي المياه المتواجدة تحت سطح الأرض والتي تتخلل التربة وما تحتها من سطوح وتظهر على سطح الأرض في الأماكن المنخفضة مصادر المياه الجوفية أولا مياه الأمطار المياه المغرونة التي تنتج عن احتباس المياه في مسامات الصخور أو السوبية في أثناء تكونها ثالثا مياه الصهيب مياه تتخلص عن تكثف البخار المصاحب لعملية تبلور المعادن المكونة للصخور التكوينات الصخرية الحاوية للمياه الجوفية في الكويت أولا مجموعة الكويت الصخرية تتميز بمياه جوفية عذبة مثل الروكين أم العيش ثانيا مجموعة الأحساء الصخرية تتميز بمياه جوفية قليلة الملوحة مثل الشقاية الصليبية أم قدير العدلية الوفرة نوعية المياه الجوفية في الكويت تقسم على حسب نوع الأملاح الذائبة فيها وكميتها كما في الجدول يوضح أربعة أنواع للمياه الجوفية مثل المياه العذبة قليلة الملوحة المالحة شديدة الملوحة العوامل المؤثرة على نوعية المياه الجوفية في الكويت أولا كمية الأمطار المتساقطة سنويا كلما زادت كمية الأمطار المتساقطة سنويا زادت كمية الأملاح المذابة ثانيا كمية الأملاح القابلة للذوبان ثالثا ميل الطبقات الخازنة للمياه الأرضية ويلاحظ أن الأملاح تزداد من الجنوب الغربي إلى الشمال الشرقي رابعا سرعة حركة المياه الجوفية في الصخور فكلما كانت حركة المياه الجوفية في الصخور سريعة كان ذوبان الأملاح أكثر Each drop of water is a potential source of life for our planet. Fresh water is used for drinking, washing, food production, industrial activities, and to sustain ecosystems. Considering its importance, it's startling to realize how little fresh water is available to us worldwide. Our fresh water supplies depend on various sources, such as rainwater, water stored in rivers, lakes and soil, treated wastewater, desalinated seawater, and groundwater. Though being invisible, this latter source is of tremendous importance. Groundwater represents by far the largest source of unfrozen freshwater on Earth. It is relatively easily and cheaply extracted. It is irreplaceable in areas where other freshwater sources are seasonally lacking. So groundwater may well be described as a hidden source of life.
groundwater is found in underground reservoirs or aquifers almost everywhere on the continents. Even in dry areas without rivers or lakes like the Sahara, groundwater can be found in these aquifers. Exploring, mapping and assessing the world's aquifers is vital for modern water management. It's also a huge and very costly task. However, in most countries, these activities, which were often started in the 1950s, are still far from being completed. global water demand is rapidly growing due to the world's growing population. Obviously this increasing demand is also reflected in the use of groundwater. This has often led to negative effects such as pollution and overexploitation. In some areas groundwater levels are declining by meters per year. These are alarming rates especially since it's uncertain whether we will be able to regenerate our aquifers. The groundwater we use has come from far. Rain dropping from clouds onto the ground runs off into gullies and rivers. Patiently but surely, it finds its way into an aquifer. From there, groundwater discharges into rivers and lakes, and eventually into the ocean or directly to the atmosphere. It's in this long journey where dangers of pollution lie. Human activities like uncontrolled waste disposal and intensive application of agricultural inputs pollute water along its pathway. Banning or reducing such pollution sources will protect groundwater quality. Nature itself may have a negative impact on the use of groundwater too by slowly dissolving minerals present in the aquifer along its flow path. We should avoid over-exploiting the more shallow aquifers, which mostly contain young groundwater. Otherwise, we risk losing these resources, leaving us only the deeper aquifers with less accessible, older and possibly poor quality water. Already, good quality fresh water is scarce in many parts of the world. With an ever-growing need for fresh water, it is crucial to learn more about the specific risks and opportunities related to groundwater. The people on our planet are counting on it.